at the centre of the security cordon two 20-tonne mammoth weapons transporters. One had skidded off the narrow icy road and rolled onto its side. As the transporter came upright, the full extent of the damage could be seen, and it was almost an hour before the convoy could resume its journey. Still heavily guarded, the damaged vehicle crawled to the Dean Hill Arms Depot. The emergency was over, but two questions remain. Was the transporter carrying nuclear depth charges, as has been suggested? And, faced with last night's icy conditions, should the convoy have moved at all? The Royal Naval Armament Depot at West Dean is one of the biggest ammunition dumps in the south of England. It's widely believed that the weapons stored in the honeycomb of tunnels in the hillside include warheads for nuclear depth charges carried by warships operating from Portsmouth Harbour. Like all nuclear weapons, the depth charge warheads need regular maintenance. When they're taken out, the warheads are carried in special convoys escorted by heavily armed Royal Marine Commandos. The Defence Ministry won't discuss these convoys, but they're regularly tracked by members of anti-nuclear groups. 